Welcome to the third film in our Modular Coordination series. In it, we look at the way in which corners, partition walls and openings can be made. A room with a rectangular floor plan is formed by building two sets of walls that stand at right angles to one another. These walls meet at the corners of the room where they intersect. This means that the bond has to turn through 90 degrees and continue with the bricks or blocks in the same arrangement or pattern. This 90 degree turn in the bond is most easily achieved with bricks that are twice as long as they are wide, that is their sides stand in a ratio of 2 to 1. This is probably something you realised yourself if you played with Lego as a child. A building generally consists of more than one room. This division in two different rooms is achieved by means of partition walls. To ensure that the building remains stable, exterior and partition walls must be joined together. In technical parlance, we say that partition walls are tied into exterior walls. Geometrically, this connection is similar to a corner. The bonds butt together at right angles and thus interlock. Unlike a corner, however, Tying in a partition wall can upset the bond in the exterior wall and has to be dealt with through the use of cut three-quarter or half bricks. Openings in masonry walls are created by leaving out certain bricks or blocks in the bond. Bricklayers call this framing an opening. This involves building the sides of the opening in a similar manner to a corner. Depending on the bond, it may be necessary to incorporate a half brick in every other course. Now comes the most difficult aspect of making an opening, constructing the top of the frame. The main issue here is how to span the opening without weakening the bond and thereby unduly compromising the stability of the wall. In traditional masonry, brick arches were used to help transfer the weight of the wall above an opening. Another way of transferring the load is to span the top of the opening horizontally with a lintel. The lintel runs from one side of the opening to the other in one piece. The points at which the ends of the lintel tie into the brickwork are called the bearing points. The material used to make the lintel must be rigid enough to prevent it from sagging under the weight of the wall above. Lintels are, and always have been, generally made of concrete, steel or wood. Alternatively, it's also possible to use a special type of masonry block known as a lintel block. Laid with the open side uppermost, they're then filled with concrete in order to achieve the necessary bending stiffness. The sides or jams of openings in thick exterior walls are often constructed with small rebates in the window reveal, leaving a projection against which a window or exterior door is then set. They're known as rebated jams. A quarter brick will often be used to create these rebates. Summary. Bricks are generally twice as long as they are wide. Corners are built by turning the brick bond through 90 degrees and continuing with the bricks or blocks in the same arrangement or pattern. Openings in masonry walls are made by leaving out bricks or blocks. The top of the opening is spanned by a brick arch or a lintel made of steel or wood or constructed using a lintel block filled with concrete. Remember to take a look at the fourth film in our Modular Coordination series.